welcome to the Crab Street Journal's video on hermit crab shells. Today we're going to talk about good shells, okay shells, and bad shells. Right now we're looking at bad shells. Crack type shells are not usable by hermit crabs. Shouldn't be purchased for use by your hermit crabs. The openings are wrong and your crab would likely get stuck, at least in the narrower type if they tried wearing them. Any sort of painted shell is bad, regardless of the size or type. Hermit crabs do not prefer painted shells. The paint peels off, or they pick at it and try to eat it. The methods by which crabs are forced into painted shells are inhumane. It's completely unnecessary. Um, a hermit crab offered a natural shell will quickly give up its painted shell in most cases for a natural shell. If your kids like painted shells, buy them empty shells instead of hermit crabs. Um, th these are just a marketing tool to get you to spend more money on the painted shells, which are a waste. As you can see, several of these have begun to lose their paint. Here's a particularly bad one right there. The paint doesn't stay on and it's harmful to the hermit crabs. Stay away from painted shells. Next group of shells are shells that could be acceptable in some circumstances but either are not popular or are not the first choice when given plenty of options. This shell looks like it should be great for an E because it has the D-shaped opening but I've never actually seen a hermit crab put one of these shells on and I have several of these. This shell looks like a turbo. It's actually um, a variety of a turbo. It, it could be a good shell, except it has this jagged tooth inside of it. If you have a Dremel or something where you can file that down, then this could be a usable shell. Otherwise, don't give this shell to your hermit crabs. That will damage their abdomen and end up killing them. Knee rights, you have to watch carefully. Knee rights are a popular shell with ease, but some of them have teeth in them also. So if you, th these shells are hard to find, so if you do find some that you want to keep, again, you'll have to get a Dremel or something and, and buff that completely smooth for them. A lot of violas come in this type of shell. Uh, I think this is probably all that's available to them. It's a really awkward shell. The opening is narrow. They have to obviously curl their abdomen back into this long chamber. I have seen them use these shells as leverage though in my tank to get themselves higher. They'll pry this point up against something and then lift themselves up. But most of them have changed out of them when given the opportunity. Goldmouth turbos, a perfectly acceptable shell but for some reason they're just not that popular. I have in pictures seen hermit crabs in this type of shell. I don't think this is a preferred shell just because of the narrow, awkward shape. So I wouldn't purposely buy this shell either. This is another one that I've seen a hermit crab in, but um, it's shaped like the last one. It's just a smaller version. The channel's really narrow. So wouldn't purposely buy this one. This should be a good shell for a large hermit crab. I think that I have seen jumbo PPs wearing these in the store. Never had any of my crabs try this shell on. So, um, you may have a crab that likes it, and maybe it's just a preference, but mine don't wear them. I have had hermit crabs in these shells. These shells are really heavy, really thick. Uh, that's the only thing that makes them sort of unacceptable, because they're so heavy, you need to have a large crab, or they're not going to be able to move the shell around. The size is a little bit awkward, but if it's a, a good-sized hermit crab, they can probably navigate around. If you have no choice for shells and this is something you have to buy, it will work. The next group of shells are the type of shells preferred by Ecuadorian hermit crabs. And that means they have a D-shaped opening as opposed to a, a more circular opening. We have several different types here. I'll start off by showing you the difference between uh, round opening and a D-shaped opening. These two shells show it the best. This one obviously has an elongated opening. This one's more round. 
This is the type preferred by Ecuadorians. Uh, Ruggies will also wear this shell, but they seem to prefer turbos. So all of these are good shells for an Ecuadorian. All of them have a nice long opening. When you're measuring shells, you're going to measure opening this way and this way. We don't measure shells from tip to tip when we're fitting for hermit crabs. That part is irrelevant. You need to make sure the opening is big enough for them to get in and their big pincher should seal off the opening if it's a good fitting shell. If they can't withdraw into the shell, the shell's too small and it offers them no protection from predators. In your tank that might not be a big deal until they're molting. Um, an oversized shell is better because at least they can draw all the way back inside of it. A lot of these little moon shells or whale shells, these are really popular. D-shaped opening. This one has had severe wear inside of it. This one's actually not being used in my tank anymore because of that. These zebra shells are great, very popular, but they only come in really small sizes. Here's another knee right that has no teeth inside of it, nice and smooth. This one's also been worn away by a crab. I didn't have anything to do with that. And you can see inside it's the chamber is completely worn away as well. Another good shell. These are really popular with ease. And uh, this is a little more round, but I think it would suit an E if it came down to it. E's are very picky about their shells. The rest of these shells will work for any species of hermit crab. E's seem to be the only ones that have a preference for a specific type opening. I have seen E's in turbos, so don't rule out turbos altogether. These are like the more common types of shells that you'll see out there. And just to give you some idea of when you're trying to buy shells, what you should buy. If you're new to hermit crabs and you're not sure there's, like, there's so many shells out there, and you're faced with um, too many choices. This is a standard turbo shell. So is this one. Both really popular. Another turbo shell. Turbos are probably the most popular. This is a white turbo. Was polished at one time. The polish wears off in the tank. This is a green jade turbo. This is a heavy shell. Strawberries like these heavier shells like this. I, I believe these are a type of murex. I don't know the actual terms for all of them. These are thinner walled, but, but not so thin that they wouldn't offer any protection. This is another one that will work. I've had crabs get in these shells and, and not want to give them up. They seem awkward because they're long and they can get jammed behind stuff or it's hard for them to navigate. If your crab is in this and it's too big for them, they're going to have a hard time getting around. Not much you can do about it though. If they want the shell, they want the shell. Absolutely do not try to remove your crab from the shell if you have decided that the shell is inappropriate for your crab. You have to leave this up to them to change when they're ready. There's another white turbo. This is a large snail shell. These are supposed to be good shells. I think I've had one crab in a shell like this. The walls are really thin and when you get into a thin wall it doesn't hold the moisture in for them as well. So I don't know if, if that's why they're not as popular if the crabs just feel that they're not as secure. You've probably seen these. Almost all PPs come in some variation of this. So these are a good shell. Really heavy though. Here's a large black murex for a jumbo. Really big opening heavy shell, but it needs needs to be uh, thick for a bigger crab. This is an African turbo. This, this has been worn away from being in the tank. I did have a crab wear this for quite some time, but this sat empty for a long time. These are really expensive, and given that I only had one crab ever wear this, I wouldn't pay for one again. Pink Murex, really, really popular common shell. I've seen some of them covered with a lacquer, shiny coating, so you want to avoid that just like you would paint. This is another shell that seems a little big and bulky, but I have had a large crab wear this. PPs, 
as they get bigger, are going to be more and more restricted by what type of shell they can wear because the bigger options are few and far between. This is a green jade turbo you can see right there that has not been polished. This is like a rough natural look, but if you polished away all of this, you would be able to see that really pretty green jade underneath there. So that pretty much does it for the different types of shells available to you, what you should look for, what you should avoid, uh, how to measure. Go over that one more time. If you're measuring for the opening for your hermit crab, you should measure from end to end at the longest point and then from top to bottom at the longest point. Don't measure from tip to tip. That way you'll get the best fit. The crab should be able to withdraw into the shell and place their big pincher over this opening and make basically a snug fit so that no other crab can reach in and poke them, hurt them, no bird can get into them, anything like that. If the shell's too big and they can draw all the way back in and still seal it up, then you know it, they're, they're going to feel safer maybe in a bigger shell. I'm not sure what drives them to do that. Under no circumstances should you try to remove your crab from its shell. You cannot force them to change shells. They will when they're ready. If you're having a hard time getting your hermit crab to change shells, take all the shells out of your tank, boil them in water for a few minutes, and allow them to dry, cool off, and then place them back in the tank. Sometimes they think they're all new shells when you do that. It removes the scent from them. Before you do that, double, triple check all the shells to ensure they really are empty. You don't want to accidentally boil one of your hermit crabs. Please visit us on the web at www.crabstreetjournal.com for more help and information in caring for your pet hermit crab.